Hello my dear students, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In the previous video, I discussed the scheme and solution of the model question paper for the subject name uh, Mathematics for Machine Learning. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, the previous examination held during uh, February March 2022 for the subject uh, code 18AI56. You people can refer this question paper for your upcoming examination which will be useful for your examination. So moving on to module 1. They have been given define vector space subspaces show that the set S is linearly dependent. You are required to define the vector space and subspaces. Already I have defined the vector spaces in the previous video. You can refer that definition. And to show that the given set is linearly dependent, I have explained how to find the given set is linearly independent. In this question, they have given to show that set S is linearly dependent. Moving on to question number B, by using Gauss elimination method, you are required to find the inverse of the matrix A. You are required to find the inverse of this matrix A. So it is easy to solve. You can easily solve. If you take these two questions, definitely you are going to get 20 marks. Moving on to question number 2A, given the system of equations, you are required to solve this system of equation by using row elementary operation and solve for x, y, z. It is easy to solve. You can use your calculator to verify your answers. Moving on to question number 2b. Here just they have been asked the definition norm of vector space u, inner product of uh, u, uh, r power n, angle between the vectors. Inner product I have defined, angle between uh, two vectors I have defined in the previous video. You can refer that uh, previous video. Moving on to question number uh, 2c. Here you require to find the rank of the given matrix A and also they have given to find the rank of the matrix you should use row reduced echelon form. So all the leading entry should be 1 there and below the leading entry should be 0. That is the aim of the solving the problem for rank of the given matrix. Moving on to module 2. So in that question number 3a is of orthogonal sets and projection vector. You should define these two definitions for Four marks. Given two vectors, you require to find the projection of uh, y on u and the orthogonal set. Two questions have been asked. One is projection of y onto u and orthogonal set. Both the problems I have solved in the previous video. You can refer that uh, previous video and solve similarly. This diagonalization also I have solved. You can you can find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. After getting the eigenvectors, you can find out uh, the model matrix P. From that model matrix P, you can find out P inverse A P. So from that, we are going to get uh, diagonal matrix A. Moving on to question number 4A. You are required to find all the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors for the given matrix. As I have discussed in the previous video, you can refer that uh, previous video. How to solve this uh, problem, you will come to know. And also question number 4B is of SVD, singular value de decomposition. This problem also I have been discussed in the previous video. You can refer that uh, previous video for the solution. Moving on to module 3. Question number 5a is on Maclaurin series. You, you have been solved this problem in uh, first semester of BE. You can solve in the same manner and with a different uh, mannerism of uh, uh, formula. You should give a bit slight change in formula. Change that formula and solve this uh, Maclaurin series problem. Just find out f dash of x, f double dash of x, f triple dash of x. As they have been asked for up to x power 4, you require to find out f4 of x. Up to fourth derivative, you require to find the function of x. Then, uh, using a normal differentiation, you require to find out uh, the x power n. It is easy to solve. You can easily solve this problem. And uh, given uh, the expression f of x here, so find the differentiation of this by using this graph. By using this graph, you require to solve this problem it is easy you can easily solve this problem if you want more explanation regarding this you can put a comment i will uh, definitely explain this problem moving on to question number 60 60a given f then find gradient of f given f find the gradient of f question number 6b is on define some identities you require to define the identities of uh, vectors then what type of identities? It should be of computing gradients. Regarding gradients, you should define the identities. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सी गिवन ए कॉम्पोजिट फंक्शन यू रिक्वायर टू फाइंड डेल यू बाई डेल एक्स डेल यू बाई डेल वाई डेल यू बाई डेल से मूविंग ऑन टू मॉड्यूल फोर इट इज ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी गिवन ए सिंपल प्रॉब्लम ऑन प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑन प्रोबेबिलिटी यू कैन फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ड्रॉइंग टू बॉल्स ऑफ द सेम कलर नेक्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड प्रॉब्लम दे हैव गिवन स्टेट एंड प्रूव बेस थियरम ऑफ कंडीशनल प्रोबेबिलिटी यूजिंग रैंडम वेरिएबल यू रिक्वायर टू फाइंड के मीन वेरिएंस ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड आल्सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स लेस देन थ्री प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स लाइंग बिटवीन फोर एंड सेवन मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शनल एट ए इट इज अगेन ऑन सिंपल प्रॉब्लम कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी यू कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इजिली given a pair of dice tossed uh, twice uh, find the probability of scoring seven points once and twice probability of uh, x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 you are required to find uh, question number 8b is on uh, random variable again they have given a pdf f of x is equal to k times of x square e power x you are required to find the k value of k then you are required to find uh, the mean and variance for the given function f of x question number c is on uh, probability distribution table they have given the probability distribution table you are required to find the marginal distributions of uh, f of x and f of y you are going to get uh, the marginal distribution here f of x you can find out f of x at the extreme corners here you are going to get f of y here at the bottom of the corners you can find then after that expectation of x expectation of y expectation of x y you are required to find moving on to module 5 that is last module Uh, find the maximum of the given function z equal to 2x plus 3y subject to the constraints they have given the constraint using these constraints you are required to find the maximum of the z moving on to question number 9b for the convex function f of y and g of x you are required to show that uh, this inequality it carries uh, 10 marks moving on to question number 10a by using the linear program given below and derive the dual uh, linear program using lagrange duality question number 10b is on uh, definitions mainly on definition discuss the optimization using gradient descent conjugate gradient sub gradient methods uh, differential uh, the method if any if there uh, if there is any methods other than this you can so uh, you can define those methods this is a question paper that have been provided uh, for the previous semester you can uh, refer this question paper for your upcoming examination all the very best for your examination i thank you all for watching this video those who are not subscribed to my youtube channel do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and all the very best for your exam